Welcome back to Ponte Vedra Golf and Country Club at Sawgrass. As we said in the first segment, let's go out and play this golf course. It looks beautiful. you got some of the best grass, the healthiest grass you ever had here. Let's go see it right now. We're at the back nine. What we'll do is we'll put you through each hole, show the critical part of that hole, maybe give us a little tip and description on what's going on with it. Here we are at number 10, par 5. Tell me about it. You got it. The 10th hole is a dog leg left. It's a fairly short par 5. It's under 500 yards. Okay. So for that reason, you actually have a chance, the longer hitters, go ahead and hit one out there and go for the green in two. Okay, so this is the critical shot right here. Now, before we get into that, talk about uh, what you guys have done. I mean, because you beautification around this golf course has been amazing. First thing I notice is you have new signs on every hole. We do. We do have new tee signs and new ball washers on all the uh, tee boxes. And we also, we've done some cart path repair work on, on this hole in particular. We've also done uh, some bunker renovation. It's been a couple years now, but on this particular hole, we've actually renovated all three bunkers around this par five green. Okay, awesome. All right, let's talk about this. Give me a little tip here on this uh, first drive here on the back nine, getting the ball in play and uh, hitting it long and straight. You got it. So here we are at the 10th hole. We're gonna just talk about what we're gonna do, whether we hit a good shot or whether we don't hit a good shot. So. My key here is it's a dog leg left. All the trouble off the tee that can get you in a lot of trouble is left because it's out of bounds over there. So that is the one area to avoid here. So because of that, those of you that draw the ball will have an advantage and I can hit a draw normally. So typically what I'll do is I'll aim a little bit down the right side here and I'll attempt to draw it back to the middle. Now the plus there is if I do draw it, I'm in the middle of the fairway. If I don't draw it, I may be in the right rough or underneath the trees on the right, but in either case, I can chip back into the fairway and chip it on the green on my third shot and still be putting for birdie. Okay, so I like that. So you're thinking about, you know, mental, mentally tough, you know, where if I miss it, I'm still okay. Exactly. All right, let's see you do it. So we're going we're gonna to aim down the right-hand side of the fairway here, and I'm going to try to draw it right off the uh, right edge of the rough, back into the middle. So I go ahead and I set up for a draw, which means I'm going to set up slightly to the right. I'm going to make sure that I roll my hands through impact so that the ball does draw. And then we'll see what happens. Make sure here when you're trying to hit the ball a little longer because you want to get home in two, that you get nice and loose as you set up to the ball. Any tension and tightness will severely limit your distance. Jack Nicklaus said that when he played, if he was going to really try to launch a tee shot, he would get nice and loose and get all that tension out before he took the club back. So that's what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and we'll set up, aim a little bit to the right, take a couple of waggles, hit that draw. So we've started it to the right, it's draw back to the middle. Now for there, we just can go like, for the green. Just like you said, that was nice. That was a beautiful looking draw. All right, great stuff there, great tips. Let's go over to number 11, par 4, and let's talk about that. You got it. Okay, Tommy, here we are, number 11, par 4, dog leg. You know, I've been remiss not to mention, you're talking about Ed C, Arnold Palmer redesign. This golf course requires accuracy. The tee shot on number 10 was crucial. Now you're telling me the tee shot on number 11 is crucial. I believe that. I mean, you have an iron in your hand, first of all. It definitely is. And what you'll notice here on quite a number of holes on the back nine mm -hmm. is that a right to left shot is preferred. Mm -hmm. So for majority of the holes, if you hit the ball right to left, you're going to like them. Okay, absolutely. Most golfers, though, hit the ball actually left to right. That's so correct. Get us through. First of all, talk about beautification-wise. Uh, I'm looking at it. Everything looks nice and clean, nice and green, as we talked about. I'm noticing the bunkers out there. You were saying that's something that you guys have redone here recently. Well, we did that a couple of years ago when we went through our bunker renovation. The two fairway bunkers were actually raised up a little bit in the rear so that you could see them visually a little bit better off the tee. Okay. So it kind of frames the hole a little bit better than what it was initially. Okay. Talk to me about this shot. What are you going to do? Like I said, you have an iron in your hand. Uh, are you still going to try to work the ball or are you just going to place it out there? Take me through the key of playing this hole. Well, on this hole, it is, it is tempting you to pull out your driver and try to hit it down by the green. That's right. the tempting feature of this hole. Woo. You know, get out the big <laughs> stick, launch it, and get it down by the green. Right. More often than not, with the tall trees, and they have some height to them on the left side, mm -hmm. and there's even some trees behind the ones that you can see mm -hmm. that are even taller. Right. And a creek so, over there. So, yeah. And there's a creek over yeah. there. 
So more often times than not, the people that have hit it and aimed left on this hole have gotten into trouble. Okay. So get your mind right. Do take the right shot. It's not always about hitting it long. It's about scoring well. That's what's fun. So That's exactly right. Take me right. through what you're going to do here. So I've got out my three iron. Okay. It's uh, not a long hole. It's only about 340 yards long. And what we're going to do here is we're going to hit a draw as we did off number 10. So the swing will feel the same as it did off the 10th tee. I am actually going to aim at one of the fairway bunkers because fairway bunkers are so good to aim at. I've got a club in my hand where I can't actually get to the bunker. Okay. So if the ball ends up going straight, it'll go right at it and be short of it. If I draw it, it'll draw right into the middle of the fairway and we'll have a nice 8-9 iron into the green. So we're going to set up. I'm aiming at that fairway bunker on the right. That fairway bunker from here is a good 220 yards, which I would really have to just kill this club to get anywhere right up to it. I'm going to draw it right off that bunker, back into the middle of the fairway, and go from there. So like we said, we're going to commit to the shot, and once we hit it, we're going to really finish. Oh, so we've held our finish. I hit a draw. You know, I didn't hit it perfect, but it's in the middle. It's 160 yards from the middle of the green. Great looking shot. Now you have a chance to, again, get on the green and score. Another great shot. Let's now go over to one of the par threes, first par three, that you'll find here on the backside, number 12. Let's do it. All right, Tom, here we go. First par three on the back side, number 12, long par three. Uh, I noticed beautification as we're talking about. You guys have cleaned out a ton of stuff around here. Aesthetically pleasing, this is a beautiful looking hole. If I'm a golfer, I don't want to go right. I don't want to go left. I want to stay out of those bunkers. Like I said, 190 yard shot. This is obviously the key right here. Kind of take me through this. You got it, Darren. As you'll notice when you look at this hole, the trouble for the most part is over on the left. Mm -hmm. You do have a bunker up by the green on the right, but it's not too difficult to get out of and you can get a lot of up and downs out Probably of it. Probably saves your ball from getting in worse trouble. Actually. No, no question yeah. about it. So on this hole, as on 10 and 11, I'm favoring the right side okay. because I want my miss to be on the right. Okay. So I'll favor the right side. I will hit a little bit of a draw here off that bunker onto the green and uh, we'll have a nice putt for birdie. Let's see it. Let sure. me see, and uh, tell me one little key thing here. You gonna think about the finish again, or what are you, what are you, what are you gonna work on? The key thing here for me is balance, because I really want the ball to go to a certain place on this hole. Okay. I'm not trying to just hit a fairway. I'm trying to hit it close to a pin. Okay. So I'm gonna try to stay balanced throughout the swing, and hit a nice little draw. Keep it going, buddy. And I'll pick a target here. I'm gonna hit it right off the left side of the right green side bunker, back into the middle of the green. If it doesn't draw, we got an easy chip shot. Okay. So we get set up, get focused on a target, and now we're going to work on our balance, get nice balanced at the finish. If we do that, we'll hit it right up by the hole. And that is going right at the hole, just a little bit to the right side of it. A little bit to the right and a hair short, but you're a Great lot shot. better short on this hole than you are long. And good balance. Great tips there, folks. we got a lot more. We're going to play the back nine here at Ponte Vedra Golf and Country Club. Stick with us. You're watching Golfer's Guide TV Magazine.